And today, today, I'm very proud to announce that tens of millions of Americans are going to see extra money land in their bank accounts. This is your fourth stimulus check update in daily news report. And I hope all of you guys are having a great day so far. How's your weekend been? Tell me in the comments below. So I do have a ton of new information to cover in today's video. And this is all news surrounding the fourth stimulus check and your social security benefits. So be sure to stay until the end of this video to never miss out on the very important stimulus check information. And also everybody, feel free to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and share this video with your friends and family. On this channel, I always do my best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. So be sure to subscribe. I personally want to see every member of Congress get together, put aside the political differences, and send out the fourth round of stimulus payments. And I also believe that President Biden must keep his word and help out our seniors by increasing the social security benefits by $200 a month. And if you guys agree with my message, then be sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. He believes a deadline is necessary to focus the minds of senators. Uh, that often tends to be the case on Capitol Hill. He believes that this group has had enough time. They've been working on it for weeks. And he has said multiple times that July is going to be the month where they move the bipartisan infrastructure deal and this uh, broader reconciliation package. So it is a gambit at the end of the day. It's not clear they get there. So guys, nearly a month after a bipartisan group of senators, announced a landmark infrastructure deal with the White House to provide around $579 billion of new funding for the nation's highways and rail lines. Now lawmakers will spend this weekend trying to answer a question that has been a problem from day one, and that is how to pay for the infrastructure bill. On one end, we have Republicans that have so far refused to raise any corporate or individual taxes to offset the new funding, which is going to be adding, which will be added to an existing transportation bill for a total of about $1.2 trillion. And the White House folks, on the other hand, and the White House folks, on the other hand, has refused to impose user fees on the improved highways and rails. Now, without these reliable sources of funding available to them, the group of senators, which now totals 22, and that is 11 Democrats and 11 Republicans, are working together to gather offsets from across the federal government. There is not an agreed upon plan for how to pay for the new spending. It was certainly not a final piece of legislation. But the fact that there is no legislation written yet is not stopping Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer from moving forward with the package. The new Democrat revealed Thursday that he plans they plan to hold a test vote next week on the House bill, which will eventually contain the Senate's infrastructure legislation once it is agreed to. Chuck Schumer is under intense pressure to advance both of President Biden's domestic spending packages in the coming weeks. The infrastructure plan, $3.5 trillion Democrats only budget resolution. What do you think about this, everybody? Will our Democrats, will the Democrats and the Republicans put aside the differences and help out the American people? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Now, Biden did visit Democrats on Capitol Hill Wednesday to pitch the two-track plan. And he pledged that if they could pass the bill, he would sell them to the public. But Chuck Schumer's surprise announcement on the test vote has kind of alerted Republicans. Remember guys, Republicans balk at the idea of being asked to vote in favor of a placeholder bill before they know what the final infrastructure legislation contains. Utah Senator Mitt Romney, a member of the coalition said, I will not be voting for a bill that is not yet drafted, so we will draft as soon as we can. And that will mean resolving the issues that are outstanding. Now, folks, even with all the time in the world, it is difficult to see how the proposed offsets can be made up to the $579 billion in new spending the senators and the White House agreed to in late June. Experts say the proposed ways to pay for the package in the working list are optimistic at best and are, at worst, smoke and mirrors. One such item is proposed, one such item is the proposed $100 billion in offsets to the cost from public private to the cost from public private partnerships and bonds from an infrastructure bank. This $100 billion represents nearly 20% of the total offsets. But despite scant details released so far, economists say these kinds of public-private partnerships are not designed to bring in revenue. If anything, they typically cause the government to Now folks, here is the latest news surrounding your social security benefits. Now according to Yahoo Money, what you don't know about social security could cost you tens of thousands of dollars in retirement income. That's according to a new survey. Six out of 10 seniors agree that the social security program is difficult to understand and confusing. While only 12% of seniors disagree with this statement, and that confusion could jeopardize their financial security in retirement. 
Folks, two in three Americans incorrectly believe the full social security benefits kick in at age 65, which is off by as many as two years for some people. The actual qualifying age for full benefits is age 66. For people between 90, 1990, for people between 1943 and 1959, and 67 for those born after 60, after 1960. Thank you for watching, folks. That's all the news in this video. And if you guys found this video in any way useful or helpful, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, have a great day and stay safe. Now the group of 10 bipartisan infrastructure negotiators was already having trouble coming up with ways to pay for nearly $600 billion in planned new spending. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer setting a deadline for a key test vote on their bill turned up the heat and pressure significantly. ABC News has learned that one of the key components the negotiators had been relying on to finance the package, which is a boost in IRS tax enforcement to go after unpaid taxes, is now left out leaving negotiators scrambling to come up with a replacement for a proposal that was expected to generate around $100 billion in estimated revenue to help offset the $579 billion in new spending in legislation. Negotiators folks said they plan to work out through this weekend. Lawmakers will continue to work with President Biden's infrastructure package until it is officially passed through Congress. But still, millions of Americans agree that a fourth round of stimulus checks should be sent out first. Do you folks agree with the need for a fourth stimulus check? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. If you do, then be sure to give this video a like. The vast majority of Americans, because of what we did, we Senate Democrats did, will begin receiving a monthly check of $300 for each child under six years old. And they will also receive $250 every month for each child between six and 17. Combined with the credits that apply next tax season, these payments total up to $3,600 for every child under six, $3,000 for every child six to 17. In short, it will amount to a substantial and potentially life-altering tax cut, tax cut for American families. If you're a middle-class mom or dad, this money will help defer the cost of groceries, rent, childcare, maybe diapers if you have an infant. Boy, they're expensive. I remember when <laughs> my kids were little compared to today, the cost. You can spend that money on something else if you need it, and it's going to go a long way to reducing the burdens that families face. It also helps those kids in poverty. The expanded child tax credit will cut child, childhood poverty in nearly in half. Four million American children, they expect.